So, um, this won't be such a happy talk. Uh, in past seven months, there were seven bombs exploded in Turkey. And more than 3,000 people, uh, 300 people were dead. There were children, there were civilians, there were, there were friends. So, and this made me feel furious, so sad, and I'm grieving. And I get to understand, unfortunately, at this point, to empathize what's going on in, in Egypt, in Syria, in other conflict areas. So please accept my condolences for the losses we all suffered all over the world. And I'd like to continue with speech, my speech after I give this remark. So, um, for Turkish experience, I, was, I want to share my thoughts. Why would this happen? What could be the reason for such a bloodshed? The, the shallow answer would be politics, right? But the, but the real reason that lies under, underneath is, in my opinion, is the end of the peace process that we were having in Turkey between Turkish governments and the Kurdish uh, extremists who were um, claiming the responsibility for these attacks. So, because of one party, I don't know which is, I mean, I have my opinion, but does that matter? These bombings take place, and these people lose their lives. So, um, I was going to say that the real reason why these attacks are taking place is the end of the talk, of the dialogue, of the discussion two extremist uh, parties were having. One is government and the other party is a terrorist organization, or as they call themselves, uh, fighters for freedom. Even the description of this terrorist par uh, organization and uh, you know, uh, fighter for um, freedom is the depiction of, uh, of, of the lack of the dialogue we're having and how that could contribute to solution. Because we were there, we were getting there, and we weren't ex uh, experiencing all of these bombings. So, how to connect all of this terrible news to amends is, well, we're talking here. We're talking here, we're sharing our experiences. We're sharing our projects. And this is such a powerful tool because we're able to understand each other, empathize with each other. And if you can remember from the yesterday's workshops, the first, the very first uh, step for um, design thinking is the uh, is empathy. After we can empathize with the with the other party, we can understand their needs, and then we can uh, we can create a human-centered production and solution. So I believe what we're doing here is is so valuable. And by listening to each story, I feel so inspired. And I, feel, I, I believe that we have to, we, we can change, change the system the way it is because we're already doing it, because you're already doing it. So experiencing this is so powerful, powerful for me and thank you for that. And continuing to, continuing to amend the ed coach is, the, the, the idea is to, uh, keep this network together and not only, um, not only for a year, uh, for three days. So after each of you uh, finish this uh, 2016 process, uh, as delegates, you become fellows. And as fellows, uh, you don't receive emails from Lumpy, but from me. <laughs> so, <laughs> and me sending out the emails uh, saying that uh, if you'd like to join to Coach University's Fellowship um, Summit, you can join and you can experience the networking reception, the workshops, and you can actually talk with the previous fellows 
and you can benefit from their experiences and their initiatives. So um, some of you may ask, why are we doing this at Coach? Well, it's more feasible. And you have already seen Stanford, so you can see Coach as well. So really good place, you know. Uh, it's in Istanbul, so um, it's close to the city. Um, so that's uh, why we uh, do it at Coach. And so let me look through my notes. So yeah, so um, as we are listening to all of these talks, uh, we can, I, mean, I can uh, empathize with all of these stories you're sharing because uh, it's proven in probably Harvard's, you know, but, <laughs> but storytelling is the most effective way to, uh, to affect the person who is sitting right in front of you. So by hearing all of these stories, we can actually empathize. And empathizing is, the, is, is such a powerful tool that we can, we can move forward. And I'm, I'm so thrilled and I'm so excited that I can be a part of this and I can do something to uh, bring people together who are doing amazing things because I'm not that brave to do such amazing things and I get to experience this. So this is just su such an opportunity for me. And I, 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 I really uh, want everyone to keep up the inspirational and amazing work that they're doing here. And I really appreciate that. So thank you so much. And uh, I just want to highlight that again, that we need to talk and we need to be patient. This is so important. We have to be patient. And we do need some craziness that is inside us to change the world as, as it is today. And we are already doing it. I can, I can see it in, in your eyes. So thank you. Thank you so much.